I'm Ozzy Griffin, and it's been a while since I've done a solutions video. Uh, this is just a little exaggeration on an experiment uh, someone told me about, I think it was Van Security a while back, when he was talking about people being selected at random from the phone book can do better than uh, most of the world's leaders, and, and I use leaders in the loosest sense of the word with inverted commas. He was talking about how you could basically randomly select people and you'd get a better grade of leader. And I thought, well, if you could do that, what it would really get around one of the biggest drawbacks of, well, two of the biggest drawbacks of modern politics. One, bribe, like, uh, corrupt or frankly insane people running for office because they want power or they want some perk that comes with the job or the title. And two, uh, which is, uh, cr well, not completely, however, it circumvents a lot of initial corruption. Now, I'm not saying that any system is perfect. It's not. However, once you rule out the people at the bottom end of the age range who are not experienced enough, and I'm almost inclined to say that, you know, 16, 17 is experienced enough in some matters, uh, though my initial assessment was about 19 years of age and upwards, uh, you rule out people who've got mental disorders that impair their judgment making, uh, and I'm not saying people who are slow in speech. I had a mate who was a DJ over in Washington State. Uh, slow in speech, very, very th uh, thoughtful guy. So, actually, you probably would make a darn good politician uh, in a proper system. So, once you've ruled out the cognitively impaired and you've ruled out the uh, overly inexperienced, then you do a brief brain scan on the remaining individuals uh, who have uh, got, you know, eligibility. And that is one done to get rid of uh, psychopaths and sociopaths and to a certain extent people with narcissistic personality disorder. Uh, there's a little test you do. You show people very calm, very serene, very warm images. And I say warm emotionally, not uh, physically. Once you've shown them these images for a little while, uh, then you put in something horrific happening to one of the subjects of the images previously. Now, a normal person's uh, brain, a normal individual's brain, flies into action. Uh, perceiving a threat or feeling the harm uh, simulated via the limbic system. A psychopath does not do that. Don't believe me, read the book Labyrinth of the Psychopath and you'll uh, get much more of a uh, better view on the whole thing. So with them out of the way, suddenly you've got a crop of lo uh, viable individuals. Now, accepting anyone who's got a long-term contract or uh, any sort of p p commitments that would preclude them from be doing even the most simple decision-making or analysis for a governmental department, you then take those individuals and then at random, at random, you pick, you have a random, random entity generator pick people at random. That's it. You don't have elections. You don't have elections. I mean, and you can't bribe people on their uh, run for office for an election because, who knows, you could be bribing the wrong individual. That would mean that you'd have the companies, and this is usually not in their financial best interests, would have to sweep butter up an entire community. Of course, if you're trying to do the right thing by that community, uh, you're doing the right thing anyway, so you're already offering uh, a great thing and you only need one genuine sales pitch. If you're going to do the wrong thing, then everyone in the community is going to feel equally slighted and there's a greater chance it'll all turn against you at once. Much greater. So, the more I look, look into this idea, the more it seems like just random happenstance and chaos, at least seeming chaos, would actually be a detriment to political corruption and uh, bribery. <sighs> Don't
don't get me wrong though, I still think that the brain scanning idea might actually be a darn good way of keeping some people out of certain jobs uh, in the private and public sectors and possibly out of gene pool, who knows. I'm not saying I'm necessarily in favour of eugenics, these people seem to pop up at random as it appears to be a general recessive trait. However, it certainly doesn't hurt to know who they are and where they are uh, for the good of the general public. And you can do it at a fairly early age, which is uh, pretty... Uh, which is pretty beneficial. Anyway, I'm Ozzy Griffin. This is one potential solution. If you can improve on it, or if you think uh, there's a better way of doing it, please let me know. I'm always open to suggestions. Have a good one.